In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill some minor imperfections in a plastic bumper cover. Okay, we're going to apply some adhesive over this to fill these imperfections, these lows, and then we'll block it out and get it ready for prime. But before we do that, you notice there's a few glossy spots right here. You want to get rid of those before you start applying your filler, your adhesive. So I'm just going to use this grinder and I'm going to lightly sand in there to get rid of those glossy spots. Yeah, if you don't get rid of those glossy spots, chances are it might not stick well. Might have adhesion problems. Next I'm going to blow it off with some compressed air. Make sure it's good and clean. Do not want to use any wax and grease remover on bare plastic. Uh, that can cause adhesion problems down the line. So now that we've sanded the, the glossy spots, got rid of that, now we need to use some adhesion promoter. This one's from 3M. There's different companies that make it. But this provides adhesion to polyolefine, which is like bumper covers. Now, if you don't use that, again, that will lead to adhesion problems, and the adhesive may not adhere properly. You don't want to put this on too thick, because uh, that can actually cause problems as well. So you just want to put on a light coat over the entire area. Okay, now we'll let that set for about 10 minutes and then we'll be ready to apply our adhesive to fill that low area. Okay, now that we've allowed that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and get the adhesive ready. And this is a Easy Sand Multi-Parts Repair and it's, it's for plastic, flexible plastic. And you want to leave these on when you're done because what will happen, this dries in the tube and that actually completes a, uh, makes a really good seal to keep uh, this from getting hard in there. So I'm going to take this off. And then what I want to do is I want to plunge this. I want to make sure that one of those haven't got hard and that, and that it is coming out evenly. So I'm going to put just a little bit on here and make sure of that. Let me get this over here where you can see it. And if one side's clogged up, you need to uh, unclog it. And you can see there that it, we do got good material coming out of both sides. Clean that off. And now we're going to remove this and use it with our new tip. Just like that, you put that in there. And now we're going to screw this back on. And now before you start applying uh, adhesive to this, we want to put some in here because this tube actually mixes it together. We will make sure that's uh, mixing thoroughly. So we're going to squeeze a little bit through here. Okay, now we're ready to apply it to the plastic surface. And I'm just going to apply where it's low right here. I'm going to apply some right here. And then you press that back, and I'll keep it from dripping on you. Set this over here. So now just using a body filler spreader, I'm going to push down real hard to make sure I push it down in those grooves that I beat out to clean up. So I'm pushing down really hard right now. Push down a little harder right there. And now I can loosen up on the spreader and do a fill coat where I give it a little bit more. And I think I may need a little bit more right there. I'm going to go ahead and add some. That's where it was low at. So you got about five minutes to work this before it starts hardening up on you. So you got about five minutes and then uh, wait about 15 minutes and we'll be ready to sand. Okay, I've let that set about 15 minutes. I'm gonna kind of test it and see if it's ready to sand. 
and I'm going to sand with 80 grit just to level that out some. What I don't want to do is sand way out here and put a lot of straight line scratches out here because if I do that I'm going to have to de take extra work DA in the, the scratches out. So I'm just going to try to stay in this repair area and level it out. Okay, it's still kind of biting a little bit. I'm going to let that dry just for a little bit longer, and then I'll come back and finish blocking that out. Okay, I've let that set just a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and block it out. Okay, I've got it pretty level. It needs a little bit more, but what I'm going to do, is I'm switch, going to switch to a DA and some 220 grit, and... Uh, Finish sanding that down and leveling it, and also getting rid of any of these straight line scratches. And before I do that, I'm going to put a little dry guide coat on here just to help me identify the highs and lows. I'm going to keep this DA sander, I'm blocking with it, so you want to be sure and keep it real flat. And we're just minimizing the scratches, any straight line scratches, to remove them. <laughs> Okay, so I've got rid of all the inline scratches. Uh, I've got this down. Took a lot of the filler that was out here off. Just needed it in here where it felt at. And I fill that. It feels good. There's no guide coat left. So that's ready to finish out. Uh, uh, prep it. Get it in the booth. Clean it. And get some primer surfacer on that. And then we'll block it out one more time. And then it should be ready for paint. Now we have could have put some more filler rod in here and blocked that out. But I wanted to show you how to use adhesive. Uh, that's another method of repairing. You can uh, build a patch and you know reinforce the back side, which I may show you in a different video. But in this video, I just want to show you how to fill some lows, some minor imperfections to get it ready for prime block and paint. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.